Can you pass Medicare underwriting? In most states, if you wish to change Medicare supplement plans or insurance companies, or if you wish to move from a Medicare Advantage plan to a Medicare supplement, you must qualify medically through a process that we call Medicare supplement underwriting. You can change from one Medicare supplement to another any day of the year, 365 days a year. If you have an Advantage plan, you're limited to the annual Advantage plan open enrollment from January 1 through March 31 of every year and the annual election period from October 15 through December 7. The day your Medicare Part B becomes effective starts a six-month period where you can get any Medicare supplement available to you without any medical questions or pre-existing conditions. After that six-month period, the insurance company can require you to qualify medically through Medicare supplement underwriting. By the way, that six-month period is technically 180 days. Very few insurance companies use six calendar months. According to industry surveys, only 20% of the underwritten applications submitted are declined by the insurance company which means the overwhelming majority of applicants are approved and get their new policy. Still, I have found in my experience that many, many people have an unjustified fear or resistance of going through the medical underwriting process. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the process so that you not only do you understand Medicare supplement underwriting, but you have a good idea if you are likely to pass or be declined or if there will be any pre-existing conditions attached to your application. So stay with me. I think you're going to like this one. If we haven't met yet, I'm Matthew Clausen, CEO of Medigapseminars.org. We're one of the premier independent insurance agencies in the country specializing in Medicare. Our services are free to you, the consumer. And our goal is to help you make an informed decision regarding your Medicare. Obviously, as an insurance agency, our hope is that you will choose to do business with us. Medicare supplement underwriting is much easier than and not anything like life insurance underwriting. No one is going to come to your home or office to weigh you or take your blood pressure or your blood. Medicare Supplement Underwriting is simply a process where the insurance agent asks a series of yes or no questions and may record information about your prescriptions. Every insurance company has their own medical underwriting, their own medical questions that they're going to ask, and their own process. But with most insurance companies, if you answer yes to one of the health questions that we ask, it will disqualify you. Some insurance companies don't view your health history as black and white, and in that case, answering a yes may mean that they will simply look closer at your history to make a determination. If everything seems okay with the application, the insurance agent submits it to the insurance company underwriting department. There, the underwriters may run a report with the MIB to see if there's anything in your medical history that would be a red flag. So what is the insurance company looking for and who is the MIB? The MIB used to be named the Medical Information Bureau. They have on file pretty much every diagnosis and prescription any of us have ever had. When you apply for a life insurance policy, you give the insurance company permission to check your records with the MIB. The permission lasts for two years from the date of the application. The insurance company is looking for known critical or chronic conditions that will likely be a financial burden in the foreseeable future. In other words, the insurance company is fine with taking financial risks with the unknown, but if you have a known issue, they're not willing to take on that expense if they don't have to. Now, in Western medicine, doctors tend to treat symptoms with medication. So it's your medications that are looked at most closely. To be specific, any prescription that you've had in the past two years, whether you still take it or not, and then how stable uh, have your prescriptions been. One indication of an underlying condition that is not yet under control is changing prescriptions. If you have a recent change in prescriptions, it might negatively impact the underwriting decision. Maybe not, but it could. 
currently about half the insurance companies in the Medicare supplement industry have what we refer to as automated underwriting. With automated underwriting, the insurance company automation software looks at your current prescriptions to base its decision. If there is a potential issue, the application is reviewed manually. Basic conditions like high blood pressure, high cholesterol, uh, diabetes, controlled by non-insulin medications, and so on are typically not a concern. They usually consider a condition not in control if that condition requires three or more medications. For example, if you have uh, high blood pressure and you're on three high blood pressure medications, an insurance company will likely reject you because your blood pressure is not under control. So what about pre-existing conditions? This is important. If you're changing policies, as long as you do not have a gap in coverage of more than 62 or 63 days, and you've held your current policy for at least six months, there can be no pre-existing condition clause in the new policy. Let's go over a list of common issues that can lead to a decline. And this, this is by no means a complete list. It's just to give you an idea of the types of conditions that could lead to a decline. And they include uh, current cancer. You need to be at least two years cancer-free for your application to be accepted. Chronic kidney disease. Chronic pulmonary disorders. Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, or any organic brain disorder. Lupus, rheumatoid arthritis, or crippling arthritis, which is arthritis that requires regular anti-inflammatory infusions. If you require a walker or a cane to be mobile, that would be negative. If you have diabetes with complications, and that means diabetes plus retinopathy or neuropathy or peripheral artery disease or stroke or mini-stroke and so on. Most insurance companies will also decline you if you have diabetes and high blood pressure. And there are a couple companies that will allow an application if the blood pressure is controlled by only one or two medications. Some insurance companies decline if you're on insulin. Most insurance companies are fine with insulin as long as your maintenance dose is less than 50 units a day. Other issues are implanted medical devices like a defibrillator or a, a pacemaker. And lastly, if you're currently undergoing treatment for anything or have a medical treatment or tests that, other than preventive care that are scheduled, you'll need to wait for that treatment to be completed before you should do your application. So after questions like the above, the application usually will have questions based on a specific time frame. Before we get into those details, if you appreciate these videos, I would like for you to please click the like button below and subscribe if you'd like to see my other medical Medicare content. It helps me tremendously to get the word out to others who can benefit from my videos. So thank you. Back to the questions with a specific time frame. And these questions, for example, uh, be phrased as, within the past two years, have you whatever? Now with these questions, if you have the condition but it was more than two years ago, it could be two years ago in one day, then you answer no and are clear to move forward with the application. Other questions in this category include cancer. For example, with you know, most companies, as long as you're cancer-free for at least two years, you're fine. A lot of the coronary disease and vascular disease questions are in this category. And it's important to understand that the questions will ask if you had or are currently receiving treatment um, for or, you know, have you had whatever condition in the past two years. For most, not all, but most insurance companies, maintenance medication is considered treatment. For example, if you've had heart issues or a stent placement and you're on blood thinners, uh, blood thinners will often result in a decline. And they're considered ongoing treatment. So this time frame portion is also the area of the application that asks if you've had multiple hospital stays for the same or similar condition. After we ask the medical questions, we document the medications that you've been prescribed over the past two years and include for what condition they were prescribed. Some companies will ask for your doctor's contact information just in case that's needed. As we go through the application, if we have any reason to believe that you won't qualify medically, we'll let you know and we'll not submit your application. 
Also, if you don't pass underwriting, there's no black mark on your health record. It doesn't count against you at all. Keep in mind that underwriting is the one opportunity that an insurance company has to filter out those whose medical history suggests that they will be a, a threat to the current price stability. The more difficult, the more detailed and rigorous the underwriting process is, the more likely that policy will show price stability in the years ahead. Once your application is submitted, please do not cancel your current coverage until after you've heard from the agent that your policy was approved. So do you think you can pass underwriting? Let me know with a simple yes or no in the comments section below. Are you interested in other Medicare content? Please subscribe and hit the bell notification so that you can be among the first to see my new videos as they come out. I'm Matthew Clausen at MedigapSeminars.org. Thank you for watching.